Hello everyone, my name is Tube, and today we're playing Farming Simulator 17! Let's get right into it. I have played a little bit of it, just was testing out some stuff, so that's why I have a whole load of money. Let's start off on normal Gold Crest Valley, let's go. Um, all these colors look so awesome. Let's just use green. Yes, we will use all those cool mod packs and stuff like that. So I'm really excited. I have played a little bit of this previously, uh, yesterday, uh, which was Wednesday. I didn't have any time, sorry, I didn't have any time to record yesterday, so I was just like, okay, you know what, I'll just test Welcome it out. Welcome to Farming you know? Simulator, would you like to start a short guided tour? This will show you some basics of the game. We would do that, but no, we won't, because I don't really want to do that. So here's our farm, and I have tested, been, you know, working on testing this stuff out, you know, seeing what this all is. So I did not yet look at these. With the big bags, you can refill your tools with seeds and fertilizer. Cool. And you know what the cool thing is? I like how I can pick things up. This is kind of, this is kind of a nice ability. They they made the ability where I can like pick things up, like generators and stuff like that. I you just can't use some of this stuff. Like, I kind of want to test some of this stuff out. Like that looks kind of cool. Bucket. Hate your bucket. Um. Anyways, let's get to our first vehicle. Let me go up here. Let's go to settings real quick. To make sure everything. is set to the way I need it to be. Um, yes, sir. Where is it the next one? Yes, it is. Plant withering is going to be off. Normal growth, periodic plowing, required fertilizer states. Start and go. Okay. This is what I want to have off. Say, Oops, that's not what I wanted. Whatever. So that allows me to shut off the vehicle, keep All it right. on. So let's get right into this. Field. Let me just move this, yada yada down. We will hire some randomized. And this. Just keep that like that. Oh, we have this guy too. This is a John Deere. This is a John Deere. Oh, this is Great Plains. And I know this is a John Deere just because of the style of it. I mean, I've seen the John Deere version of these before. This is definitely a John Deere. All right, so you're working. Uh, here's the train. Okay, we're just gonna do that. Um, let me get you started on this. Where are you located? Oh, you're located at field number 12. Okay, good to know. And here's our truck, which is at the farm. Okay, that's cool. Um. How are you doing? Let me look. Oops, I said you were connected. Dang. Okay. Anyways, let's get driving here. I want to see how much do we own in the silos, which I've played a, maybe like an hour of this game, and it's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm so far enjoying the game uh, as much as I have played it, you know? So, how much... We have 6,000 of that. Oh, look, they even added some new stuff, too. Let me get to wheat. So we have wheat here. They have bar so barley, canola, sunflowers, new soybeans, I think, are new. Corn has always been there. Okay. Do we no longer have potatoes? No, I know where we have potatoes. Okay. What? 6,000. Oh. Corn. I want to drive this over to... I was about to say, I was about to say corn plant. Um, I know where I have to drive. I know where I have to drive. I know where I'm driving to start out with, I think. I think I know where I'm driving. Just following this train line, it's somewhere over that way, if I'm not mistaken. So these are fields, uh, and farmers own these fields. And what we can do is we can actually work for the farmers. Uh, and do like stuff for them, you know, get them, you know, help them out on their field thing. You know, like any other farmer would. So I, I don't know where my exact location where I need to go. Is. All I need to, all I know is that I either, I know I have to shut, I know I have to go down this field one way or another. And I think I'd probably make this like a hay field or something like that. That just looks like a good field. Um, I like the tractor sounds, they're pretty nice. 
And there's a, there's a really good field over there. I don't know what that is. Um, but it's, uh, one thing I wanted to have come to this game was competition. Um, not real, like, farmers, competing farmers, you know, becoming like the best supplier. I think I might have mentioned this in my 2015 series, my most recent one that literally just ended just because this game came out earlier than I had imagined. Um, I was actually, I was hoping they'd have competition, and this is kind of like competition, but I wasn't really thinking this type of competition. Um, something where like, you know, you compete against farmers, you know, like the main supplier, or stuff I can find wherever this I know what I need to go to the biogas plant, right, sitting right over there. Because this is where all those trains are parked, you should have that closed. I don't know why we would have that open, like, what farmer in the white line would have that open. And we have the trains here, which I think the train is pretty fun. Um, it's quick transportation. Like, it's quick transportation. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it is also free to use. Um, I have not actually sold anything yet, or used the train to transport stuff yet. Um, but I think we'll just test this out right now, and then we'll drive, drive back to Pia. We'll drive back down to Pia. I don't want to get off the road. Don't get off the road. I like this. It feels really, really, like, peaceful. Like, you know, you've got the mountains over there. I wonder if I can find that mountain. Uh, this is not the place I was intending to go. I'm almost there. We have a crossroad up ahead and I need to turn left. I like how they also uh, made uh, letters for our workers. Worker B, worker C, you know? I kind of like how they did that. That makes a little bit organization. A little bit organization. Is that That's where I needed to go. That's where I needed to go. Um, I have an idea then. I has an idea. No, I forget it. It's I. The IQ uh, dumps stuff off here. And then what we can do is we can get on the train and we can actually travel to, what's, what's his face called? Um, let me leave that right there. Let me just leave this, this bro, just sitting here parked. Uh, and I want to take the train, because I wanted, to, the train is pretty fun. You can drive the trains now. And, like, that was the thing that I was, like, the most excited about in this game, for some random reason. Why do I feel really, really tiny? I feel like my character is really, really short compared to this train. Like, I feel like this is me to a train. Well, I'm a pretty tall person, so. Can I not? Okay. Then listen to that train. Wait, I feel like they need to make a little bit of like a quiet when the, you stop the horn. I feel like it stops too quickly, if you know what I mean. So I have cruise control on just because it's a pain to have to press W. But the train does take a while to stop. Uh, I will tell you that right now. The train does take a tad bit while to stop it it will oh ah yeah yay i'm an idiot you know why i'm an idiot is because i wanted to take the grain that we had parked over here and if you let go of w it kind of puts it kind of lets the gas go a little bit so i wanted to put it i think i wanted to put it in the back yeah you know what let's not do that right now because that would be a waste of time just traveling this train with nothing else on it so whatever let's not do that Let's just travel, have some fun, travel on the railroad, you know, because that's what we do. Like, it's kind of nice being able to drive a train. It's quick transportation. I was hoping that you could let, like, you could start the trains moving and then you could stop them whenever. But I, the game does not support that. All right, so let's, we got to stop this fool. Let me just leave the train right here. Um, what is that? I actually haven't yet seen some of these. Is that like, is that like a Hoover Dam or something? 
Uh, I wonder if I can just swim, if you will. Oh yeah, look, yeah, I can just swim. This water looks really, really freaking cold. Freaking cold. This must be like a Hoover Dam or something, because they're, yeah. No trespassing. Well, I'm trespassing, whether you say trespass or not. So this must be like a power plant or something. Well, I wonder if I can, like, climb up this. I obviously, I can. Okay. Jump! What it? Oh! Oh, this is so cool. Look at this view. Awesome. Oh, I wonder if we can throw that off the edge. Oh, look, it is a Hoover Dam. Is it, are we even supposed to be up here? Where the heck are we? Oh, wow. Okay, we are supposed to be up here. We can get up here. Rights agriculture business. No trespassing. Um, yeah, I kind of just wanted to dump this generator in the water if you're okay with it. Oh. Uh, oh, I, oh. Oh, no, apparently we can't go there. Look, it's like, it's like, no, this is radioactive. Y'all, y'all can't do that. Bye. All right, let me just drop down here. Oh, I like how it landed me like a parachute. That was kind of fun. Okay, whatever. Let's get back to our train. Let's drive all the way across because I want to do that. Just show you some stuff. Show you some stuff. What happened to my voice? It was here like a second ago and now it's gone and like I don't know what happened. So there are two trains on this map, if I'm not mistaken. We have one Sawmill and another one towards uh, the mill up here somewhere. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know if y'all heard what I just said. Um, I believe that this, I don't know what this mill is called, it's not on the map. And the trains cannot derail, so. The trains will not derail. And the railroad crossings work, which is kind of cool. So that's kind of cool. I thought that was kind of cool that the train crossings worked. It's, it's cool kind of using this as transportation, you know what I mean? Like, just being able to leave your train, like if I wanted to, I could probably just park my train sitting right here. I could just leave my train sitting right here for as long as I wanted. And nobody wouldn't worry about it, you know? So then, you know, I could do some work on this field, you know? So, it's kind of nice how you kind of got free transportation, I think. This is our farm. Oops. Oh, oh. I hate how the mini-map goes away. See how that goes away? I, I like the mini-map. Crossing should go down. There, see, that didn't sound bad. Sorry. I wonder if we can use that. The water tanker. Just out of curiosity, you know what I mean? It's kind of nice how you can uh, abandon the train. And eventually it will stop, unfortunately. I was hoping that the train would continue going, but it will stop. I was kind of sad about that, because I, wa I wanted the trains just to continue running so I could have like a railroad working, and I felt like the rail was actually doing something, but... Okay, you're freaking out. See 
the audio just got really loud or I just put my volume up. I don't know what happened. Wage payment. What? Sorry, I meant to pay you 125 euros. Would you be okay? It's so nice to dump your valuable grain materials. Into my wonderful tractor device. Okay, what was I doing? Um, what do I, okay. I wanted to show you the shop a little bit. I wonder if the game will pause if I open up the shop. I don't think it will. No, it doesn't pause. How long? How much of a grain do you have in you? Alright. Alright, so you're going. I did want to test out or uh, show you a little bit of the shop. So we have a lot of new stuff. Are you going to go? You just stop there. Okay, you're going. Good. Um, we have placeables. And there are some new placeables that they have added into the game. We have this vehicle workshop. We have a water tower, which is why I was thinking that one water tower on the train track would have worked. Um, we have a heater uh, for like yeah selling wood chips heater basically I think maybe we could also I would imagine we'd be able to put round bales in there uh, we also have this converts into wood chips and uh, automatically to be sold at the sawmill and we also have this which is an extension to the uh, the silo because apparently the silo now only has so much capacity in it before it runs out. And then we also have these things, which is kind of cool, where we can, like, build, like, extra building shelters. We have the bee houses, the greenhouses, um, just like we had previously. We have the solar collectors, and we also have some new decoration buildings. So we can make a, like, we can probably make our house, I think, which would be pretty cool. Um, we also have some of these vehicles. I have not yet figured out how to use this vehicle. Oh, I have, yeah, I figured out how to use this vehicle. This one's uh, kind of a nice vehicle to, you know, transport stuff pallets so apparently now we need pallets in order to be able to get like seeds and whatnot um we have dollies as we had before and this trucks they have added new semi trucks we have this one which looks like a mac um and we have these two from the previous game and we also have this one which i think that one is a um i keep wanting to say surface liner freight liner that's what it's called a freight liner um and I believe we do have uh, millions and millions of new tractors, which is why it's probably lagging on me as I'm trying to open this. Just look at all these cool tractors. And I also got the two, um, I also have the two uh, um, pre-order versions. Uh, there were two tractors that came in the pre-order one. And we also have new mowers, too. I am so glad that they added this mower. I, you don't know how long I took in Farming Simulator 2015 to find this type of mower. It took me so long to find that type of mower. I was just like really, really happy about that. And we also have some other stuff. This is to put back fields and transport liquids. So that one's like transporting stuff. And this, which we'll get into later. Tetters, fertilizers. I don't know of anything else. I don't really look into this that much. This one we had in the previous game, I think. What, what one do we have right now? I know we don't have this one. Unless we do. Oh, we have this one. How much... Ooh, that one's kind of costly. How much can you hold? Oh, wow, you can, you can hold a lot. Okay, how much can you hold? Okay, you can hold a lot, too. Um, what is this? Oh, yeah, the sewing machines. Um, sewing machines, pretty self-explanatory. Let's see, what else do we got? Weeders, we also have weeders. Apparently, we need... Weeder! Weeders, pull the weeds out between small grown crops, improving the field state. It can be used... In the first growing stages of crops. Okay, so that's kind of nice. Um, windrowers. They added this really small windrower in there. And I was really happy about that too. Because I was trying to look for one like that. Uh, a mod of that. Uh, and they also added some new farming equipment. As you can see, they added... This was always in the game. They added this though. This and I believe this. 
So I'm really cool about And they also added this one. Kind of like a cheaper version of this. Um, I think we would take use that one first, though, because that one's just really nice. I've used it. Uh, and I think our skid steer stuff is still the same. Yep. Oh, they that's new, though. Oh, and this stuff is new, too. Oh, does that like cut down trees? Oh, cool. Cut down trees, too. I didn't know that. Telehandlers. Uh, bailing technology. Helper B is blocked by an object. No B A. Just saying. Okay. I wanted to take a little bit of a walk. Why are you going that way? Oh, that's kind of nice. That's kind of interesting. You're taking like a full turn now. Okay. I have time. kind of cool. So I wanted to take a look at one really tiny field. Let's just travel at full speed. 123 miles an hour, I think that's a tad bit too fast. Don't you all agree? Let me lower the cruise speed down a little bit. That's a little bit too fast. There we go. See, this is a normal speed for a truck. Um, oh, I, I missed the road. Sorry, y'all. Gotta turn around. Accidentally missed my turn, if y'all know what I mean. If you know what I mean, if you know what I mean, then you'd know I missed my road. I will go a little bit faster, though, just for the sake of the recording session. Look at all these fields. I, I, I think this game has a more of a farming field than the other one. But Jordan Home, I felt, was a little bit too squished together, if you know what I mean. Or maybe I'm just saying that because this is an American map, and I live in America. Maybe I'm just saying that because of that. I don't really know. Maybe it's just because I'm used to it, you know? <laughs> Who knows? So we have some fields that I want to actually work with. I want to get my reputation with these farmers up, because I believe if you do that, the fields will actually cost less. So let's see what this guy... He, it's a small field. I think we'll do that. What does this guy want us to do? Uh, what does he want to do? Oh, yeah, okay, this will be easy. Let's just start. So this is one of the uh, farming missions. And basically, we have to... I think... Yeah, no, we got it. We basically have to sow... Uh, not sow, but like... Fertilize this guy's field. Um because it needs fertilized badly. Yeah, we should be done with this in no time. This is a really small field, though. I would kind of like to use this one as like a hay field, because I feel like it would be easy, simple, productive, you know? And this is this another um, grain mill, I think. I'm not sure. Alright, let's get going on the next one. I think I'll do this in the cab this time, because I know what I'm getting. If we're not on the field, we ain't getting it. If you look in the top right hand corner of the screen, you can notice that there's like this green circle. That will fill up as you work on the field. Um, I was used, I was doing one of these missions yesterday. I think it was over on field number 28. Yes. Over on field number 28, there is another mission where you have to harvest uh, wheat. And I was working on that one. I want to know how much money this looks like. We have, like, as you can see, uh, if you look on the top right-hand corner again, right next to the green circle, you do have a time. Um, you have to complete this mission in that amount of time, I believe, in order to get full pay. I'd imagine that the less time you take, uh, the faster you do it, the more money you get paid, I imagine. I didn't really pay attention to that. There you go. See, it automatically ends. Wow! Color me impressed! Oh my gosh. So, yeah, time bonus. Oh, yeah, so we earned $3,000 for that. That was good. 
Uh, and I think this field is done, and then it will like... Oh, yeah, right here, look. Oh, yeah. So we have to wait for this mission... Uh, for this mission. For this field to grow, and then we can come back here, harvest it. And just like this one, we can basically do the same thing, except... How, how big is this field? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's even bigger than field 28. Uh, yeah, we can harvest it. Um, I imagine that field number... How are you doing? Let me grab you real quick. Bring you all over here. Oh no, I'm not gonna have enough space. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough space to hold all this. Ugh! Hey! Hey! Uh-oh. I hope that isn't, um... Okay. I was kind of worried that we were losing grain there for a second. Before we do anything, I think I'll, I think I'll transport it to the train, uh, train station off-screen, just, uh, you know, just for the sake of time. We'll transport it to the train station off-screen. I keep forgetting, it's I, not Q. Silos, yada yada yada. You know, we know what silos are. Who, who, who here in the has no idea what a silo is? Y'all know? Good, I thought so. Oh, what? Look at that. That must be a glitch. I didn't experience that when I was doing it yesterday. I didn't experience that when I was recording yesterday. But you know, whatever. How are you doing? You are almost done. Where? Okay, you're working. Okay. Um, how do I choose my watch? Okay, let's just do, let me look, let me look on the prices. Um, Gold Crest Pacific Grain, Mary's Farm ain't doing so good on the wheat, wheat stuff. Wheat is doing good right there. How about canola? I think that's canola. No, that's barley. That might be canola. I don't know what... I don't know. Here, that... This will tell us. Yeah, that is canola. Okay. That's canola. Oh, but look, it just went down. These are changing. Dang. Uh, what is that? Beans? Soybeans. I would imagine we need a harvester for that. Um... Let's just do canola. Eh. Yeah, let's do. Let's do canola. Canola. Uh, okay. Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, look, that's kind of cool. How um they added the light defects and stuff like that. How when it has the light on. But the thing that I think is hard is like distinguishing what is planted and what is not. It's kind of difficult to tell. Your quality is so nice. Just leave that guy hanging right there. Lovely. Worker number B. Number B. Number A. You are worker number B. Number B. Number E. No oh my God. Letter E. Oh my, this is a very interesting tractor. I like how I can kind of see the tires though. That kind of makes it kind of cool, especially when bailing. I know in real life, any farmer would like that type of tractor. Okay. We're doing that. Let me travel. For the second time. What was I doing last? I don't even remember. I don't even remember the last time I said that. Okay, is that full? What is the capacity on this thing? 
Uh, and where do we, like, add them? I don't know where we add... Let me look. Let me look. At my garage. Um... Okay, we don't have any of silos yet. Okay, that's good to know. Um... Let me just leave this guy right here parked. I like how I can kind of make a really bright light right there. That kind of makes things kind of nice. What is the point of being able to lift this? I know it must be... I know it's done in real life too, but I don't know what the point of it is. That's a tree. That's a tree. Oh my god, it's a tree. Don't let the tree murder you. Alright, y'all. Um... I wanted to, before we do anything, I actually wanted to, yeah, let's just park this guy over here for the time being. So, doing those missions earn us a little bit of money, which is kind of nice. Let's... Okay. So you're working, you're working, you can just stay parked for the t Oh, look! Look, look, look! So now we can harvest that. Um, I wonder how long that would take. Yeah, let's start it. It might not take that long since it's such a small... Oh, yeah, it would take a while, wouldn't it? Ah, uh, whatever. We'll do that to end the episode off. How about that? When it becomes, um... When it becomes, uh, first day tomorrow, 12 o'clock, we will start the next episode. Okay. Let me, I don't know what the point of having that raised is. I don't really like it raised. Oh, it's G. G is to change. Okay, good enough. Oh, I need to uncontrol the tool first. Wait. So this is basically just doing this type of mission. And it's pretty self-explanatory, you know? Just drive the combine, hard- Oh, What if that's withered? That doesn't really look like a tool to show rail. Oh yeah, yeah, it does look weathered. Do we have withering on? Because I don't really want to have withering on. No, it's not. But that looks pretty withered. Okay, let's take a look at this. It looks so sad. Or is, are they supposed to look like that? Just look at that texture quality. Oh, I like how they're 3D, too. I think, um... Ooh, someone just yelled. My dog, I heard, just barked and must have got stepped on by a big shoe. Some sort. I have not had a time where my combine has got overfilled. So when you're doing these missions, don't worry about your combine being overfilled. I've never had that happen before. Yep. Excuse me. On uh, field number 28, I actually didn't even get half... No, I got like to 60% by the time I was done with that field. So, like, when you're... This field, you know, you're probably not going to get much. But seeing how fast that's going up, I might do that. Maybe it'll end when I do it the first time. I don't know. I, I, I want to kind of work with the farmer on this field. Maybe he can, like, lend it to me and be like, Hey, bro, take this. Because um, I think that as your reputation gains with the, the farmers, the fellow farmers, um, they will actually lend you stuff for free. Not, no, I lied. Not free. Uh, they will actually lend you fields for, like, cheaper. You know what I mean? Like, they'll be like, okay, you know what? You work so hard on this field. How about this? This, this, and that. You can work can kind of, you know, you can, well, let you have it for this amount of money. You would have let you have it for this amount of money, but you did so much work, we'll let you have it for this. You know what I mean? So I do want to kind of gain my reputation uh, for this uh, farmer, whoever owns this field. I can't remember his name. Obviously, he really loves my work, though, because he's like, oh my god, you fertilized the field. I've never seen such magnificent work. Man. Mag this efficient, man, such efficient work. Let's just put it like that. Uh, yeah, we should be done with this, like, any time, you know what I mean? And I like... 
I like to do this. I don't like to go around. Uh, I like to go around the field. I don't like to uh, do, you know, rows like that. Even though windrowing might be a tad bit easier, I don't like to do that just because, like, I don't know. It, I don't know. I don't like doing that. A lot of farmers do that, I notice. They all, they'll do it all the way around, you know? They won't, like, do rows like that. And I think I, like, I know on the fields that are, that my family owns, we own far, big, huge farm fields, uh, and I know that when uh, our farmers are working on those fields, I believe that they go all the way around because there's so many trees. Um, so, I mean, I, I I guess I can understand why they would do it at our place, too, because we also have fields, like, right outside of our house. And I can, I, I can kind of understand, like, why they would go around to clear the trees. Maybe, I don't know if they do that with all farms. I don't think they do. I don't think they do. I actually, I think when it comes to baling, they do. I'm not sure. But it would make a lot of, it kind of make a lot of sense, but then again, I'd be like, okay, well, well, I mean, I don't know, it's kind of complicated. I don't really know. I guess it depends on the shape of the field. Um, I don't think that any of our fields are perfectly square. They might be, but they might be just a little bit off. I'm not sure. I know, like, the really huge farm fields like this one. Are, oh, so field, yeah, field number five is the largest. That would be a nice one to have, although I don't really, I won't really want to have that one because that would cost me a fortune, but you know, hey, wait a second, I can't figure out what time it is now, dang. I just realized the time was going down, I'm like, wait a second, what are you telling me? Does the time stop? It tells our coordinates, the map, that, that might have always done that, but you know, whatever. Um, this game runs really smoothly on this computer. Like, I think it, even ru it runs even smoother than the uh, Farming Simulator 2015 did. Um, Fraps seems to really like it. Fraps starts up like that. Um, and the problem with Farming Simulator 2000 and... Uh, ooh, that, that was interesting. The problem with Farming Simulator 2015 was that Fraps took like two minutes to start recording. Um, I think it did that on my last episode. Uh, the one with the trees. Um, I think it did down that. Um, let's just continue driving here. I don't think I'm going to continue that series, though, because, well, Farming Simulator 2016 came, or 16, uh, 2017 came out. So I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to continue this because this came out and it's even better than this, you know what I mean? Like, it's newer. People probably want to see it more than they want to see the old game, you know? So, yeah. I should be done with this field in no time. The other field, field number 28, took a long time to do. It took me like an hour just to do that field. Killy. Someone messaged me, Killy. Douglas. I like to call that person kind of secretly Douglas. Douglas. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. You know what I mean? I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. He's an idiot. Okay. There's no cure for dumb. Just saying. Uh, so, I, while I was playing this yesterday, my mom, uh, and, yeah, my mom was playing Skyrim. Um, she was playing Skyrim, because we have an Xbox, and I'm, I'm normally on the computer, but my, the Xbox is connected to my computer, and she was playing it off of the TV, but I, my video recorder uh, that I use for the Xbox, which I don't really use anymore, my capture card can uh, connect to the Xbox, and when she's playing on the TV, I can watch exactly what she's doing on my computer. Uh, and I don't even know why. I don't even know what I was going to say about that, but it was really funny. I think she talked about how she, like, like accidentally killed a chicken or something, and everybody got really ticked off. Um, so, I did play that game, I think, like, early 2016, like, last, sometime, earlier this year. I know before, I know it was before summer. Like, had to be in, like, oh gosh, had to be in, like, nah, had to be in February or January or something like that had to be then, because I remember, because I remember, I had to be before seventh grade let out, because I remember, yeah, my friend was, like, freaking out, because I didn't know how to jump, uh, and that was with the Xbox 360 gameplay, which, I don't really, my friends really want me to get an Xbox, I'm just like, okay, well, I think that games, though, now have cross-platform, I believe Farming Simulator 15 has cross-platform ability to it, so, like, if my friend is playing on the Xbox One, I can connect to him. I can connect to him. 
uh, and play with him, even though I'm on a computer and he's on an Xbox. I believe that's what it said. Uh, and that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool because it's kind of like, okay, well, I suck at playing Xbox, so it wouldn't be fun for them to play with me because, well, I'm good at single player stuff, but I'm not good at multiplayer stuff because people are too dang fast, you know? Even on a computer, I sometimes have problems. And it's not because of my internet, because I, I have an okay amount of internet. Like, uploading videos takes a little while, but, like, playing games is okay. I can play, you know, Modern Warfare, you know, whatever, you know, Call of Duty, any type of multiplayer game on multiplayer and be okay without any lag. But when it comes to Xbox, then even on a computer, I have trouble playing multiplayer. Um, but, you know, so if I have trouble playing on a computer, which I've been, you know, using since... I've had a computer since I was, like, three years old. You know, I've known how to start them, known how to clean them, fix them, code them, you know. Uh, well, not really code them, but, like, if I get a virus, I know how to fix it, you know. So my friend, you know, much, which has never happened. Uh, I have fixed viruses before, and I have stopped viruses from spreading. Um, because, you know, I've got viruses before, and sometimes I see how they're being caused, and so sometimes I know how to stop them and prevent them. Uh, and some of my friends, some people that I know are just like, I don't know what happened, I don't got a virus. And then I look on their computer and then I'm like, yeah, I feel you got a virus, bro. Bro, I feel bad for you. Um, coding, I don't really know how to do with the computer, but I know my father has a lot of experience with this. So like, it's kind of like, I think the Xbox One is being made more like a computer now, so I think the Xbox One can handle mods, right? Um, they can handle mods, right? I know that it can handle Skyrim, multiplayer. What is it called? ESO, Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, ESO, Elder Scrolls Online. I know it can do that, so, um, which is kind of nice. My mom... Really okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Rudely, my video recorder decided it was going to crash because I kind of ran out of disk space, so I had to delete some, a, a series that I wasn't doing. Um, it was Limbo. Remember that game? I don't know. I played it a while ago. And I looked, I rewatched my footage, and I'm like, this is horrible footage. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna continue uploading it. It was really dull. But anyway, so like I was saying, my mom is really into Skyrim, and it's kind of like, um, a lot of people, uh, during the summer, I work at a fair, uh, fairgrounds, uh, and a lot of those people play Skyrim. They're very medieval, because it's a renaissance festival, so it's kind of like, okay. And they all play Skyrim, and, um, I believe that my friends had played Skyrim, yeah. My one friend who I'm kind of, I'm kind of close to, kind of close to, um, had, that was like the first Xbox game, and my video recorder is going to crash in a second because I have like no disk space because it's like 200 megabytes per second when I'm recording this. So let's just get done with this. All right, so before we're done with this field, uh, I know that before we're done, oh, there we go. So look, bam. That's great work. He's so surprised. He's like, oh my God, I've never seen stuff done like that. We've got 11,000. Oh, we got 11.5 thousand. Ooh, that was good. $20,000 for this field right here. Let's look at our reputation. Look, so Re Joshua Allen. Okay, so yeah, we have another job. Normal value. Ooh, look. That's kind of nice. So may oh, yeah. But someone after then has got to do it. If you're, if you're here for work, I got a field that needs a load of slurry thrown on it. It's a dirty job, but someone other than me has got to do it. Pay is th for that. If you want it, if you want it, the tractor and spreader are out there for you. That's kind of nice. Um, anyways, that's going to do it for us for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys enjoyed. You working? You're almost done with that. You're still working on that. Anyways, it's going to do it for us for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. I think I'm going to harvest this off screen as well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this first episode. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Look See at all that piece. pay. I literally just lost $3,000 for uh, over $5,000. Uh, $5, no, not $5,000. Like $4,700 because of all that payment up above. We have vehicle running costs, property maintenance, loan interest, which I should pay back. Now what we got to do is look at these depressing flowers. We just got to harvest these crapola people. Let's just do that. Joshua Allen again. Let's 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 do this. I'll see you in the next episode. Wait, what type of what type of mower is this? Oh, look at that. Is that like corn header? I think it is. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Later.